welcome everybody on July 24th, Rochester Select Board meeting, which was uh, posted in three public places, right? And on the website and email to interested parties. So we can legally go ahead with this meeting here. <clears throat> the um, first item on the agenda is the minutes from the July 10th meeting. And um, they all look um, pretty good. The only really um, awkward I find is the minutes regarding Bruce talking about regarding what they were presenting. Put that in the minute. I just like to be that um, and submitting that to our town attorney who said there was really no legal validity to their arguments and so we all in favor okay. and then we've got the park use application for the harvest fair and martha you're here yep yeah all right good made it so um you have applied for the harvest fair. What is that? Yes, oh, no. well, this is our thir 34th <laughs> annual harvest fair put on by the White River Valley players. I've worked on every one of them. <laughs> and I've been a Saturday, producer. September 9th. From yes, Saturday, September 9th. And um, you know what it is, live music and vendors yeah. and food and all kinds of stuff. So I'm hoping that the um, select board will give us permission to do that. All right. Move to approve that application. I second that. Favor? No. Aye. Yep. Okay. Thank you, Martha, for your continuing work on that. It's fun yeah. to see everybody having a good time. Yep. Got um. So, did you guys see anything that raised your eyebrows in the treasurer's report? No, 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 I didn't either. I, didn't. I, would, I would move to approve that. Thank you for putting that together. It's helpful. All in favor? Aye. 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 And, um, and there was a driveway approval for the Austin Hill Road. I'm not getting my date. John had a chance to look at that. He's okay with it. Yeah. All right, so um, I move to approve. Second. In favor. Aye. Yeah. Now um, we have a question from South Fall League, I guess, asking for permission to use the field at the end of August. Is that, um, Renee, are you in Zoom? You're losing us. Oh, no, just have her on Zoom. No, um, no. Yeah, they had, I know that they had originally lined up and then it got damaged all the way so uh, just on us or do they have do you guys have I have no idea I don't know that's definitely a Renee question we've got time to ask and have her but if, it, if it's an ongoing thing for the season then probably not covered and they would just want to see other stuff that happen and I'm sure they yeah You've got so her info. So end of August, so that not be for that. Imagine they do. It's just we should probably have it. Okay. All right, and um, 
Is this the item number seven on the agenda was our um, purchasing policy mm -hmm. and an amendment of that. And if you want to, uh, so we kind of did the preliminary on this month ago or so. Yeah, yeah. a couple months ago. Couple months we ago. talked about yeah. yeah. So that's included in Mm -hmm. you on the 50,000, but the amended part that I wanted to change. Um, Jim Barlow said that uh, we needed to dis make a distinction of who has the authority to make the purchasing. I put all department heads, but he said he's more specific. So that's what I think. Okay, instead of just all of them, so we say road form and uh, clerk and select board. And water and sewer water and sewer all right, so we're amending the amended policy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, all favor. All right. All right. All right. Let's see there. And <clears throat> and then there is um, something on here about purchasing the high school underground tank. Is that as um, Catherine? Are you in the? The room? No, nope, she's not on Zoom. No. Just give an update. It's an update. Yeah. I thought they'd been working down there. But they took it out. It's an elementary school. Yeah. Um, they had decided to wait on removing the high school tank until they're ready to replace. The system. They have gotten um, a quote from three different companies to do a temporary setup because they don't plan on heating the foil eventually down the yeah. road. And that quote was $175,000 to set up. I think it was like three tanks temporary. and a concrete pad and the double wall tanks and all of that. Um, so they decided to fold that into the cost of the new system when they get grants to do a new system. So they, they shut, they're just kicking that one down the road. So they're going to run um, the old tank until they're ready to replace the Correct. system. Correct. And the schools are aware of that. So no decision to be made, just information to be shared. Martha might have had something. Hmm? Martha's um, right. I I didn't see this item on the agenda that I received. Was that a new a new um, item? Yeah, and it's um is added, I guess, to informational. We're not making any decisions about that, so that's just uh, you know sharing the information progress. Okay, report. all right, thank you. Sorry. The um Tony's not here from the library. Has anybody got any um very good? Put together pageant. Pageant. Yeah. Yeah. And finished all of partially. <laughs> so, did any of the debris from mowing end up causing problems with culverts in the storm? Or? No. Those are the things on the storm. for all the culverts. Yeah. And just road washing. We got more damage on Sunday night last yeah. week than we did during the actual event for everyone else. Uh, bingo and West Hill to get our uh, stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. So we he's putting together all the paperwork for that, and the gals are putting the bills together. We'll pay off after he's going to be meeting with uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Derek Ward, Karen Ward, uh, this week. So are we thinking that we're going to have an uh, application to FEMA? He's going to look at one that one of my Mike Bowens, I think, is the biggest one he's looking at. As far as I know, I, I didn't talk to him today, so I don't really know if it's one for anything else. But that was where his problem was. And, and basically, uh, there was a two-foot over there already. So he'd like to put a three in at a different angle, which would be the thing to do. Um, it's it's fine right now. I mean, it took the water and everything else. It was just got plugged up. That was it. Didn't wash the road too bad. They patched it up quickly. 
we were pretty fortunate compared to yeah. other towns. Up on wood. And then we did have some wash and bingo up at both Carlins there. We have before the bridge. And I'm looking at putting that on the fast track to discontinue that upper section just so we don't have to continually fool with this going forward. Um, yeah, I, to the courses. That's what I'm thinking is the best option. I mean, we could keep we could keep it as a class four, but I don't see any reason for it. It's just all national forest up through there, and there's what good is it to the town? It's just dead end. So I don't see any value in it. It's, uh, have you talked with Chris Patrick at all about? He's that? on vacation, mm -hmm. and we talked earlier about doing it, and uh, um, I'll speak with him again when he gets off vacation. He'll be back in a couple weeks, so I'll get on that. So that's just all up into National Forest. There's no, there's no problem. Right where the there's a used to be a campsite right there, and it's from there. The government's already put their gate on our property anyway, blocked off by our town. So they're up by the like fourth property. property. Yeah, and, and they and there's a bridge and like 14 culverts up through there, both 14. And you know, they had plugged up. We haven't done a whole lot of ditch work up there in years because we never plow it in the winter. And now that's being logged. Of course, we're maintaining it, but you know, we maintain it in the winter time, we get a lot more damage. So you know, we're going to have to put some money into it for you know whatever. It's nine tenths of a mile up through there. I don't see what the value is for anyone. Well, it, we have to go through the process of this, yeah. and there is a process and we're looking at. That. We'll go from there. Very news on the uh, waterfront. Waterfront, yeah, nice to big park up on a little dryer. <laughs> We're going to make quite a freaking blast. <laughs> uh, but sewer wise, I think I got some sump pumps on four and three heavy. So I guess I'm going to start knocking on doors. And if they don't let me to check, then I guess this. Select board is going to have to, we have the right to go in and check. Uh, but I'm sure I know. I'm thinking they aren't going to. So I thought I was eight to nine thousand gallons a day right now over what it should be. And site three is probably five. Mm -hmm. Site three isn't very big. I mean you only got a few houses there. But if you got lots of water in your basement, <laughs> those little pumps pump, you know, fifty, sixty gallons a minute. Yeah. But to find out which one, you know, you got everything's gotta happen at the right time. These lines tie in. Having all to this. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. You know, you got to go on. Yeah, they're going to use that. To, you know, unless I'm not worried about it. I mean, okay, just meant to we'll work with you. As, you know, I'll be glad to help them try figuring out what we can do. Yeah. What well, there is, if the state gets involved, there's a hefty time. Well, I'm not. I don't want to do that. That we actually. Well, if you have, if we're going to send letters, we got to send them to every user. Well, that's what I mean. Maybe that's what we should do on those two sites. 
Yeah, maybe we could. And then, then it'll be a... I'll go knock on doors, too, but I mean, yeah. this way they can get a letter saying, you know, because, you know, if they don't like it, there is a, we can get in there, but it's just, it doesn't make good customer. Yeah, if we get the customers on that and send them, have a, a letter sent to every single one of them. That's so you know, the you know, Okay. I'll sit down. We do. Which ones get it? Yeah. And, and they can offer a solution. We can help or whatever. God, go talk to them and see what we can do, but we need to get it out of there because it's going to fail our systems. Right. So let, and not only that, you know, you could always say, you know, once you find out it is that, if they don't want to do it, the state could step in and say, you know, this is what it's going to cost you. We we can send a, a copy of, of the state. Send it in there if it's a plumber bomber could lose his license. Well, we could send because the only way you can pump your stuff into the septic system is by permission of the town only. Yeah, that way we're not accusatory. We're just. We're just idea. asking because we got yeah. problems. We have problems. Yeah. Okay. And so you and that could be through that. The girls, we can. Say yeah, that have right to be. There. I got next couple of days. I can't, but I'll get to it right afterwards. Okay. I'll make the list That's up. Fair enough. With you, ladies. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy to help. Yeah. Okay. We just write a letter. And just send it to yeah. those people. That's yeah. all. Yeah. Yep. Send it to the whole group. Yeah, go for it. It's like four bottom. <laughs> but I need that. We don't need that system to start failing either. No. Because of that. We don't need any system to fail. <clears throat> no. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Is uh, Jeff Gephardt in, in the room? Does anyone know? I had feedback on those electric car chargers working. I, I see them plugged in down there. Yeah. So I, I, had a call I had a call from uh, Everything recording recording in progress. Everything stopped.
Hello. I can't hear anything. Record.